my problem. It is now silhouette, and I'm trying to stare at the screen, but it is so difficult to see what it actually is. There's a bit of white on it. I think it might be a Mar Is it a Marshall? Do you have a little crest? It's hard to say, but I do see white on the legs, which makes me think, and it's a big bird. It's not a small bird. It's very large, and also the Wahlberg eagles haven't come back yet. So I'm going to go and say Marshall Eagle just from this view. But again, it's so difficult. Also, I've got a glare on my monitor. Yeah, look at this. Look at the crest. Look at the size of that beak. My goodness. Very sharp tip for tearing open. Oh, feathers. Oh, we need to go there and collect Marshall Eagle feathers. Yeah, it's definitely a Marshall Eagle. Now you can see the white quite nicely. That's lovely. So keep an eye out on the dam cam today. It seems to be hanging around in the area. Maybe it swoops down a little bit later and catches a water monitor or something like that, or even one of these ducks. Wouldn't that be incredible? They eat a variety of different things. I mean, Marshall Eagles are known for taking young impala lambs down or any young antelope um, and, and feasting on them. They will also catch water monitors. That's actually the thing I've seen them feeding on most is water monitors and rock monitors. They like lizards. I'm impressed that it was able to fly in there with its massive wingspan and land on those branches because there's quite a, uh, sort of quite a few little ones. I'm sure it must have broken a few as it was coming in. But our largest eagle that we see. And those eyes as well. You can just see... Those bright yellow eyes looking at us every now and then. Come on, fly this way, please. Oh, tally ho, we're on 94 birds now. Okay, well, that's good. We'll see what we can do. I'm trying to think which birds you have on your list. I almost feel like saying, quickly send it to me <laughs> so that I can, I can see what you're on. You can actually do that. You can tag me in it, no problem. It's nice to know. Uh, what birds are sort of lacking. I think it would have been great if we could have put that grey-headed bushrike and orange breasted bushrike on screen as well as that green-backed Cameroptera. I'm sure those would have been a few new ones. They're not ones that we see all the time. Now, unfortunately, this Mar Marshall Eagle is sitting in a very awkward spot. Like I said, it's not far. We're just on the eastern side of the dam. You'll see me driving over if you are watching on the dam cam. And it's in the trees just sort of northeast of the dam cam. Maybe it comes back. I'm sure it will. Remember, it's been chilly. It's been quite cold. Uh, most of the animals were resting and taking shelter yesterday. And on a day like today, they're going to take full advantage of warming themselves up. And particularly the terrapins, the water monitors, the rock monitors. And they like to sort of sun themselves on those banks. And maybe it's going to come down and swoop. And I'll be very impressed if I come out on safari this afternoon and you've all exclaiming with joy saying that you managed to watch something like that happen. It's also a dream sighting of mine. I actually like to see a martial eagle taking down an impala lamb just because I've never experienced it before and I've heard that it's, it's, a, it's unbelievable how they do it. Physically just crushing their prey with, their, with brute force and their talons. Oh. Not, not that it's something nice to see. <laughs> Chantal says I'm being very cruel now, but it's it's just if you think about it logically It's amazing that a raptor bird can take down an antelope I mean that to me just it's, it just shows you what a powerful predator it really is So I'm intrigued by things like this and I've never seen a big raptor taking down an antelope before And I'd love to see the technique for myself. Obviously, I've heard other guys talking about it Tristan has actually told you a few stories about that but we'll keep bumbling about and see if we can add some more birds to your list i'll look out for some sneaky ones let's go across to byron who has got some very sleepy dogs